This is going to be a tutorial on how to apply the Friedrich method, normally applied on the 3x3 cube for speed cubing, on your 2x2 Rubik's cube. Now, if you know to look OLL and to look PLL completely, you will have no problems and you will not need to learn any new algorithms at all. You will just need to figure out when and where to apply them. If you don't know either of those, to look OLL or to look PLL, you will only need to learn a total of seven new algorithms in order to solve the cube Friedrich method. Now, the main reason you would use Friedrich method on the 2x2 is not only because it reduces the last layer from the beginner, which is quite a few steps, down to two, it also makes solving the parity faster if you encounter it. So, on the 2x2 two two cube here, as you can see, there are no edge pieces. So when you perform different algorithms, you don't care if they will mess up edges as well as corners. All you want to do is move the corners around. So, first I will start by teaching you the OLL algorithms you need to know to solve the 2x2 two two with the Friedrich method. Now granted, these are the exact same algorithms used on the 3x3 three three cube. There are new algorithms that people have come up with for only the 2x2 two two cube because it is faster to use those algorithms. However, if you use these nine that I will be teaching you in this video, you will not need to learn any new algorithms if you already know Friedrich. So this is what I will be showing you now. The first case that I want to show you on OLL is when there are no corners with the correct color on top. Now, my first side was white, which means the opposite, if you have a normal color scheme, opposite white is yellow. So, that means that when white's on the bottom, if white was your beginning side, then you're going to want to have yellows on the top, but you have none. So then you need to assess if it's one of the two cases. This case, where the two are next to each other, a 2 by one block here is opposite a 2 by one here, then what you want to do is hold it with one of them in front of you and then apply the normal algorithm for this uh, this same OLL which also happens on the 3x3 which is this one where there are two in front and two in back all you want to do is do an F R U R prime U prime and do that short four move finger trick three times total R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then F prime. And that will get all of the yellows on top. Now, the second case, with no colors on top, is this case, where you have a 2 by one block here, but instead of them being on the opposite side, you have them like this, where they are now opposite to each other on the other two pieces. What you want to do is hold it like this, where the 2 by 1 block here is on the left side of the cube, and the yellows are right here. Now this case is the exact same as this case right here, with the 2 opposite and the 2 adjacent here. So all you want to do it's, it's very much like the algorithm that I just showed you. F, R, U, R prime, U prime. And you do that four move finger trick only two times. R, U, R prime, U prime. And then an F prime. And that will solve it. Now, for the two easy ones, I will be teaching you it with only one corner facing up. And this one that I have now happens to be the soon. The soon is where three are not, are not flipped like this, and this one is the anti-soon of the two variations. You will know you have the anti-soon if when you hold the correct one, if you hold it, the solved one in the back right, and it's on the right here, you have the anti-soon. So what you want to do is R, U2, R prime. U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And that will solve it. And now the last one, with one corner facing up, is the soon. There's only one facing up, and if you hold it in the bottom left, then there will be yellow on the front here. Now this is just the exact same as the one I just taught you, except inverted. 
So you want to do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And that will get you all yellows on top. Now, with two corners on top, one of the cases is this one. Where there's two up next to each other, and then you have these two, opposite. What you want to do in this case is hold them on the left side of the cube and do this following algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. And that will get all of the same color on top. Now, the next one you want to do, that I will be teaching you, is with two opposite corners flipped face up. And the two that look like this. You want to hold it so the two are here, and there's yellow on the left side. You want to do the following algorithm. L prime, U prime, L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U. And all the yellows are on top. And the final one that I want to show you is the only one that you may need a variation of the OLL that you already know. This one has two pieces on the front and two flipped face up. Now, what you may want to do is the headlights, so to speak, algorithm, which is this one. And this one is quite annoying to use. It takes a lot longer to perform. So let me show you with an example on this one. If you do the one with the T and the two on front here, it will flip these edges. But since there are no edges on this, you don't care about that T. So, you hold the two yellow ones on the left, and you do an F, and that finger trick I showed you for the one with no corners up, only once. R, U, R prime, U prime, and then F prime. And that will get all of the yellows on top. And now I would like to go into PLLs. PLL is the permutation of the last layer, and the only two you'll need to know is the T perm and the Y perm. The T perm is where it switches two edges, uh, two corners and two edges. But since there's no edges, of course you don't care, so all you need to do is the T permutation. Now I chose this one rather than one of the other PLLs because this is the fastest to perform. This algorithm, you position the two that match up on the left, and you do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. And that is the T permutation. Now the only other case you can run into is the Y permutation, which is where two opposite corners need to be switched. So what you want to do is you want to hold the two that need to be switched on the front right and the back left. And what you want to do is do F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F. And then R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. And that will switch the two adjacent, uh, the two opposite corners. And why I chose this one instead of the other ones that switch the two opposite corners is because this one, again, is the fastest to perform. So, I hope this tutorial helped, and I will now briefly show you a few solves of the 2x2, two two, just to show you how to apply these algorithms that I just taught you. We'll do a random scramble here. Okay, randomly scrambled cube, and I will quickly get it. I will solve white first, just to help avoid confusion. Okay, first layer is done. Now you look at your top. Two of them are flipped up, and the two opposite ones are not. So you want to position yellow on the left, and then perform that algorithm. Then you look at your PLL. You have a 2 by one block here, so if you match it up, all you need to do is switch these two. And you do the T permutation. 
and there is solving the 2x2 two two cube using the Friedrich method designed for the 3x3 three three cube. If you have any questions or comments, please send me a message. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.